All right, this is Robert with Gen X Computers. I got another doozy for you. This is a HP F Compact Presario F500. And what's going on with this one is let's get this. this popping sound. Produce it, and of course they don't want to play. They don't want to do it right now, so let's try to make it. Hear it a little bit. Press down on it. It's popping. And I'm not touching, and it's still popping. So I narrowed it down to this area here, and it's got to be some sort of grounding issue. So I'm gonna. As you can see, I already got it taken apart. And I want to take it apart further to figure out what's going on. But from what I can tell as of now, it seems to be a grounding issue. And if I look up on it, the popping sound is gone. That's what makes me believe that something is coming in contact with something that it shouldn't. So, I'm going to finish taking it apart and figure out where the hell this thing is going to get dropped. Okay, the HP was making a popping sound, and I figured out where it was coming from. It's got a little short from where the screw went in, right by the speaker wire, and it's right here. Right there, right along there. So, if you were to look at the top cover plate. Right there, so I guess what could have happened was the screw caught that wire and went down on it as it screwed in, and and basically shorted it out, put a kink in in it, kind of shorted the wire out a bit. So um, I'll try to remove that tape and try to fix it back. But um, I was able to isolate the sound and get it repaired. Hard to do this with one hand. I'm starting to understand what people say when they're making their videos. So I'm just going to move it right along there. That way it's not going to get caught by the screw. Focus in on that. Light on the subject.
put it back together so you can see that it is fixed. Oh, that was a new iPhone just dropped. Caught it by my feet. together and test it out. Let's just put it back together partially to test it out. So we're going to power it on and test it. And this was the contact point where it was making a nasty sound. It takes a bit to. where it does it. So I'm going to put a screw in there just to make certain. that screw in there before right here it was loud it was really loud and annoying so as you can see the popping sound has stopped so I say going on 12 hours of no sleep and a lot of form reading with no help finally got something solved I hope this helps someone else in their quest to figure out what that popping sound coming from an HP 500 compact presario was because I know I could not find any help anywhere it's just plenty of stories about popping sounds with a number of um, supposed fixes including drivers and things of that nature which did nothing nothing for um, nothing helped me at least nothing And I'm going to put it back together, but before, I didn't even need to have it all the way together. And um, it would it would make the sound really annoying. All I needed to do was have the, um, have the laptop on like I do now. As you can tell, it had that screw in there, and it was loud as ever. And the speakers are plugged in, as you can see, with no sound. So, hope this helps someone. If you like the video, hit the like button. Sorry if I'm talking a little low. As a, as usual, when I make my videos, I'm working on a little no sleep. But, wanted to get this out to you. That's the most important thing, getting this fix out to you. So, this is the HP again. Presario F500. Let me shine some light on the model number for you. See if I can get that to focus.
see my Vista cereal also. It's not worth anything. I'm reloading it with Windows 7. Vista sucks, as we all know. Unless, you, of course, you got the machine to run it. Right. Subscribe with Gen X Computers. Thanks for watching the video.